Hey guys, it's Cooking with Fifi. So, today is a part of my Bizarre Foods um, episode or series. So, let me show you what we got going. <clears throat> I prepped the vegetables for this. Let me see, I'm not very good with the camera action here. So, what we have is, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> so, we got some asparagus cut. We got some white onion. We've got some orange bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and green bell pepper. Okay, and then let me take you over here to the stove. So I've got some potatoes that I've parboiled, I'm parboiling. And then I've also got, got some pasta that I boiled. And I'm getting ready to take that out so that we can start to dress that. So I'm gonna put you guys back here. Sorry about my camera work, you guys, but hang in there and work with me. I'll show you what we, uh, when we get to the next step, I'll turn you back on so you can see what we're doing. So hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is what we're going to do. We're going to assemble our pasta salad. Hold on just one second. Got a technical difficulty. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh-oh, that lightning is good. So guess what? I'm going to assemble our pasta salad mix before we take our octopus and sear it with our onion and asparagus. And uh, so I'm gonna let you see that process and then we'll stop before we sear, okay? Here we go. So I got some tricolor rotini. I'm just gonna put in there. And as you saw before, you saw the vegetables that I'm gonna use. So let's see, let's scoot this over here. Can y'all still see that? Okay. We're gonna do these are just the ends of the bell peppers, the different color bell peppers. We're gonna stick those in there. I know you're probably thinking that's a lot of bell peppers. But we're gonna do this. Put a little parsley in. Okay, you guys. And I'm gonna actually cut up some tomatoes. some tomatoes and put them in there and these are just the um, melody different color sorry you guys this is from the steamer where we uh, we steam the octopus first to make it so big, we can make it tender, and then we're going to put it in pan to pan sear it. So we're doing lots of color because you know in 2019 we're getting our diet right, and we're going to do better. So let me get it in. And again, the noise is just a simmer, you guys. So. Right off in there like that. Okay, so that's gonna be the base for this dish. Okay, we got that part started. So after once we start searing the octopus, I'm gonna bring you back to that part. Okay, hang tight, guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Got the walk on. We're gonna actually change direction a little bit because we're making two dishes. We're going to put the sausage in here. Get them seared off. And this is just some Italian sausage that I've cut. Guys. So remember, we're doing octopus two ways. We're 
Let me chill these off a little bit. And today we're cooking with special guest G. Hey, thank you. <laughs> you can hear me. Don't worry, you'll see him in some upcoming videos. Maybe he'll maybe even he'll show us one of his recipes. And with this, you guys are going to put some um, potatoes that I parboil. We're going to be eating better in 2019, but I can say we're going to uh, be super healthy. So, can you guys see that? I'm just stirring them off. In a minute, I'm going to throw in a stick of butter so that my potatoes can cook good. So this we're gonna have the sausage, onion, celery, and the potatoes. A little bit of garlic. Like I said before, you guys, I don't really measure. But let's start with potato corn. Garlic and onions make everything better. Do a whole stick of butter in there? Mm-hmm. potatoes. Brown and salt. I mean, salt and pepper. I'm going to keep it real simple, y'all. Salt and pepper. Because the flavor, the sausage has so much flavor in there, and the onions and the garlic as well. So we're going to keep it real simple. We're going to season to our liking. Some people don't really care for salt too much. And there is salt in that butter as well. Or the sea salt. We're just going to sprinkle some because, you know, the potatoes are going to absorb a lot of that. You know, uh, black pepper decreases your blood pressure. Did you know that's a known fact? Okay, and like I said, I parboiled the uh, potatoes, which basically mean I boiled them. Not fully cooked, though. So I would like to get a little bit of a sear, a little bit of a crunch of toast on that. I'll wait for the celery to cook down a little. Mm-hmm. I'm just moving these. 
to put a little bit so they can cook down. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Uh-oh. Did I mess up? Okay, so I'm going to uh, let that cook down and then I'm going to come back once I incorporate the potatoes. Hold tight. All right, you guys, I just put the potatoes off in there and we're going to just let them fry. I like a little crunch to my vegetables. So I didn't, I slipped the celery saute, but I don't want them to get super soft. I just want to get a little bit of a um, a fry, kind of like a home style potato. And let these toast up here. Okay, so once we get those all toasted, I'll get these over, and then we'll start pan searing our octopus. I'll be back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Here we go. I got a crust on some of my potatoes. And like I said, they're already parboiled. So this right here is ready. I'll put this in a dish. This ready. All right, you guys. Can y'all see that? Let me bring it to you. There we go, you guys. Look at that. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. So that is onion, garlic, celery, sausage, and potatoes with butter and olive oil. So, we're gonna sear the octopus and I'll bring you guys back once we start to sear. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm getting the pan back, uh, the pan ready so that we can sear the octopus and the asparagus. I love butter, y'all, don't judge me. It's my, probably one of my few sins. More onions, I know. I need to get I know it seems like probably a lot of asparagus, but it's for it's actually for two different dishes. And yes, we're gonna throw some more garlic in there. One of the dishes does not have garlic in it at all. And yes, guys, some more peppers for color. I won't use some green.
All right, guys, I'm going to let these saute up and then get ready to put the, uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to saute these, and then I'm going to bring you back when we're ready to put the octopus in to sear. I just thought of that. So don't worry, and I'm only going to add some salt and pepper. That is it. And I'll bring you back. Okay. All right, you guys. This is getting the wok is all nice and hot. Y'all, this octopus was huge, and this is what it's cooked down to. So I've learned my lesson. If I'm going to do a dish and I really like it with the octopus, I've got to get a major, majorly big octopus. So what we're going to do is we're going to just dump that on in. It's going to get that flavor. Stir it a little bit. Pepper on there. What they say, layers on top of layers, a little salt. I'm telling you guys, this tentacle, this thing right here, is like that long. I tell you, major, major, major thing. Shrinkage, major shrinkage, shrinkage. So, they already cooked, we cooked them in the pressure cooker. This is the head right here, y'all. That's a good sear. And this is my first time cooking octopus. Yeah, don't judge me. But we work in the South Fiji style, y'all. Yeah. Got to put this little thing still on that side. The head is gone, y'all. Okay, y'all. Turn that off. And I'm a plate. And I'll be back with you. Okay, you guys. This is the first plate. Now, this is the octopus with sausage and potatoes. And just remember, it's just simple salt and pepper. We put some garlic and butter. Butter is life, okay? Don't be afraid of it. So, you guys see that? Is that okay? See, can y'all see that? Why lie? I'm going to plate the second dish, and I'll let you know what extra things I put in it, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. Here is the cold dish, okay? So that's got a pasta salad underneath there, and remember, it has the multicolored bell peppers and asparagus, and this is the secret sauce right here. This is olive oil vinaigrette balsamic edition. So we're just going to pour that. Mm-hmm. Pour that over there. So since it's just a pasta salad, you guys, with octopus. And garnish it. And voila. There you go. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay. All right. The next time you'll see this, guys, it'll be on a mukbang. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.